everybody. So I am back less than 24 hours from the annual conference that I have been very lucky enough to have been invited to attend four years running. And I'm sure if you're on Instagram, you are so sick of seeing the hashtag RSTheCon. And many of you are probably wondering, what the heck is that? Um, this video is on what I wore to it because I find it particularly interesting um, as an attendee, what everybody else is wearing, and I wanted to take you along for that. And also, Sunday's vlog will focus a lot on that, although I never get as much footage as I want. But first, let me explain what the heck is RS The Con and what the heck was I doing there? So, RS The Con is the hashtag for Reward Styles Annual Conference. Reward Style is the company that handles all of my affiliate links that you see below that whole disclaimer I have and all of what that is kind of explains what affiliate links are. And I've done videos on affiliate links. I will, I will link all that. If you are one of those people that very kindly uses those links to shop, I do make a commission from those um, links only if you actually shop with them. Not if you're just curious to click on something that doesn't do anything for me. Um, but please, I do encourage you to, to just use them for your own personal research. I, that's fine. Um, but anyway, they have about 11,000 or 12,000, I think it is now, 12,000, they call them publishers or influencers. The vast majority of them are bloggers, fashion bloggers mostly, but there are quite a few YouTubers um, using these links through Reward Style as well. I am one of them. And every year they invite their top 200 or I think this year they called us the top 2% to attend this conference. So I was in that top 2% this year, and that is only because of your support. So again, thank you very, very much for making what started out for me as a hobby and actual full-time career and has made my family's daily life um, very different than any of us could have, have dreamed. So thank you for that. It's the ultimate people watching event. Like I do not consider myself a fashion blogger. I get dressed and um, I put on clothes like everyone else and I like to share what I wear because you guys are curious. But I don't consider myself a fashion, a fashionista, a person of style. Um, I'm just an everyday person like most of you and I'm always curious what normal people wear, and so I just share what I think you'd be interested in. I just want to explain that. But the most people who are going to this thing are definitely in the fashion realm, and so what they wear is up on this level, and so it's very interesting to watch. But anyway, the conference itself starts on a Thursday evening and goes through Saturday night, and then we usually drive back home on Sunday because it's up in Dallas. Um, the last two years running, I've been lucky enough to be able to go with my one of my very best friends in real life, Erin Busby from Busby Style. She loves driving, so we drive up together and we're roomies, and um, so that's always fun. There are um, daytime events that revolve around um, listening to speakers, going to individual classroom sessions to learn more behind the scenes type things, um, and then meeting one-on-one -on -one with different brands that you may want to work with or they might want to work with you in the future, going to a brand hall where you walk around and informally you can introduce yourself to the brands that are there and maybe learn more about those brands. That's actually how I learned about brands like Bobble Bar and GG New York. I had never heard of them until I went to this conference. And while my bank account might not be pleased about it, I'm, I'm pleased that I, I thank you Bobble Bar, right? Um, I bought these um, when I was in Oxford, actually. And then sprinkled throughout the day and into the evening are different parties. So there's usually a luncheon, um, and then in the evening there's some sort of party with a whole different outfit that is required. So that's where the what I wore part comes in. So Thursday day was the travel outfit, but I knew that as soon as we arrived in Dallas, we were gonna be photographed and taking photographs. So um, I wanted something that would still be cute. I know there's better adjectives. I'm tired. Bear with me. So of course my new favorite shirt um, that I picked up in my most recent Nordstrom haul that um, I put up last week was that twist knot top. I'm getting another one. I love it. So it's so comfortable. So I wear that twist knot top with my um, white articles of society jeans. Um, admittedly in the car itself, I was wearing my Sperry Seaside sneakers. But then when we got to Dallas, so I changed into my shoes that I was gonna wear for the rest of the day, which are another favorite, my Vince Camuto slip-on open toe cutout booties. And if you follow me on Instagram, 
most, if not all of these outfits you have seen, so I apologize. If you don't, you should, because you get to see a lot of stuff that never makes it onto a video or into a blog post, and it's like up to the minute, like as it's happening kind of stuff. And then we changed for their opening party, which was a pool party. Nobody, it's not a pool party where you're wearing swimsuits, thank God, I'm not doing that. Um, but it's basically a cocktail party that happens to be around the edge of a pool. So the outfit that I wore for that, again, I wanted something kind of, I purposely knew it was gonna be outside. It can get windy at night. I didn't want a dress that was too short that would blow up over my head. There are things nobody needs to see, like cellulite. That doesn't go away when you lose weight. I just wanna point that out. So um, for that, I wore a kind of like a brick orangey red dress um, from a brand that I cannot pronounce called Leith, Leith, L-E-I-T-H. That was part of my haul um, that I, sh again, reference um, from Nordstrom from last week's video that I didn't actually put in the video because I wanted to save it for the big conference. I did give you a sneak peek on Instagram though, so if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this dress, but what I loved about this dress is pockets. I love a dress with pockets. You're gonna see that again later on. Um, stretchy fabric, very forgiving, did not wear Spanx for the first time in a long time. I did not wear a strapless bra. I ended, it was so hot that I just thought if I could get away with not wearing a bra and one less layer. I ended up getting um, these things on Amazon that everyone has recommended and I have got to tell you, they are amazing. I wore them every day in the conference. They're called nippies and they're stick on, they just right on, they're adhesive, they pop right on, they come in two different colors. So if you're a darker skin tone, they have a darker color. And if you're, you know, extremely pale like me, they have like this color. And they blended seamlessly right into the curve of your skin. And they, even with a very clingy jersey fabric, no, no nipple cover line. So thumbs up for that. And I paired it with um, all gold jewelry. I had a cuff from Goriana. Um, also that I got at the conference a few years back. Um, I wore um, a necklace from an in-house brand at Nordstrom called Panacea, and my earrings were Argento Vivo, um, also at Nordstrom, very good price point, I have to say. Very like classic, just gold and silver type jewelry at a really good price. And then the shoes I wore, oh, love these shoes. I showed them in my haul. They are the Sam Edelman, Edelman, Edelman? Um, Yara sandals. I got them in the oatmeal suede. I want them in every color. I want the hot pink ones. I still do. That may happen. Who knows? And I paired it with my Gigi New York Chelsea crossbody. It's a from their resort collection. So it has some gold shimmer in it. Very summery and pool party-ish and great. What I love about this dress, by the way, is it's not for dry cleaning. You just can throw it in the washing machine, which is a good thing because I sweated like nobody's business. It was not pretty. So that was Thursday. Friday, let's speed up the pace here, woman. Friday was the kind of the big, big day. I was meeting with two specific brands. It was the opening day. You kind of wanted to, you know, look like you knew what you were doing there, that you should be there. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna get better footage, so I'm just gonna walk you through it right now. I don't know if these earrings are still available. They're old from Bubble Bar, but this is a new Bubble Bar necklace. Um, and let me turn the camera around. Um, I'm gonna get a like shot, a picture to insert so you can see the color better, but the toilet is talking. Oh my God, could this get any hor more horrible? Hang on. Okay, here's the top. This is from Banana Republic. This is an extra small. And then these are skinny camo jeans. I will link several options because these exact ones are out. And then my trusty Vince Camuto open-toed side cut out booty thingies. And I carried my Parker satchel from Gigi New York. I specifically ordered that for this conference because it has pockets um, that I could put my media kit and my business cards in and another padded sleeve for my laptop, um, a notebook for taking notes and all kinds of stuff. And I like that it has a shoulder strap so I could have my hands free. Then on to Friday evening's event was the um, cocktail party. So another quick change. At this point, you're like we had maybe 30 minutes to run up to our hotel room and change into the next outfit and then get dinner. It, it, anyway, so um, this was another outfit I picked up um, in my Nordstrom haul that I did not show you, but was previewed on Instagram. Okay, literally had 20 minutes to change, late for the party. Haven't touched up my makeup, don't care at this point. Earrings, <laughs> old necklace, still in stock. Um, waif dress, taped to within an inch of my life so nothing falls out. Um, this is a pretty dress though. 
And then um, shoes, I think I'm wearing them wrong. Shoes are Mark Fisher again. Got a DSW, I think. Yes, I did. And there they are. And now I'm gonna race downstairs and go to a cocktail party. Haven't touched my hair. I'm just like, I don't care anymore. I mean, I care, but you know what I mean? Finally, last day of the conference, Saturday, um, I decided to just, I had this whole linen outfit planned, the temperature plunged, and I said, the heck with this, I'm going to be comfortable. So I grabbed my trusty cut from the cloth, um, Mia toothpick jeans, skinny jeans, um, I have my Chelsea 28 white um, cold shoulder sweater that never, the cold shoulders were going to be cold, so I threw on a bell-sleeved um, kind of open jacket that I picked up in clearance from Loft. I think it's still available. I just got it a few weeks ago. Paired that with my Tory Burch espadrilles that I was going to wear with the linen outfit and I was super comfy and for that I switched out from the Parker satchel to my zip tailor tote because um, I didn't need to carry around as much for the second day of the conference, like the second full day. And as far as jewelry went, um, I decided to punch up with a little color with my ginormous um, <laughs> Those big bright pom-pom earrings from Bobble Bar. I love them. I know they're polarizing, but I had a lot of fun with them. And um, no necklace because of the neckline had a lot going on and all that. And then Saturday night, ooh, I love this dress. I felt like such a princess. This is from the brand Adri Adriana or Adriana Papel. Um, I have a dress from them that I actually wore to Jake's bar mitzvah. Um, I love the pockets. I love the bright color. I love everything about this dress. It was really long though. So um, I did have to have quite a bit of it hacked off. And then as far as jewelry went, um, trotted out my old favorites. I wear them for every formal dress or every formal event I have. My Nadri, Nadri um, earrings. Those are for sure at Nordstrom. I think they're at every department store and a pave link bracelet from bobble bar which i think are in clearance now i don't know if they're discontinuing that or what but that's what i wore um it was also freezing so um luckily i had packed my pink blank nyc um faux leather jacket that i just threw on over that so many girls are wearing a leather jacket over their ball gowns which i thought was awesome um i do need mine is too big on me now i need to size it down um Waiting for that Nordstrom anniversary sale. There will be quite a few leather jackets in my cart, I can tell you that. And then my purse was a big GG New York um, Uber clutch in that big orchid color, that um, big pink orchid color that goes so well with that dress. So that was my crazy weekend, what I wore. And you'll see more of it coming up on Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this. It's always so much fun to go to this just to see what other people are wearing, to try some different trends that um, I normally don't you know, wear. But all of this you will see going forward um, in vlogs coming up, in videos coming up. I'm not going to wear the dress in a sit-down video, the ball gown, but you'll see it on our Alaskan cruise. Um, as always, if you have any questions about sizing or anything like that, please do not hesitate to ask in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Friday with my April favorites. Bye-bye.